Hey guys, very recently I did a survey. I asked you people if you have ever had a millibug problem or these white bugs that you see on the plants. Interestingly, about 80% people on Instagram and about 500 people on the YouTube community tab said that yes, they have had a millibug problem and they would really like a solution. So today I'm going to talk all about it. Here I have a tomato plant which is pestered by millibugs. Actually this problem is also common in hibiscus. I had a hibiscus plant which was heavily infected by them but I treated it and I didn't want to keep it for till the video because it was turning yellow. Okay, so before I jump on to the solution of what you're supposed to do, I would really like you to understand why these millibugs appear on your plant and what is the basic science behind them. It just makes it easier to understand and to control such problems. You know, you can always apply a chemical and deal with them, but it is always better to have a little more understanding of the plants since you are a gardener or you like to keep plants to know, you know, what is really going around. So I'll try and explain very quickly. See, these millibugs are very soft-bodied insects. Now, if you have millibugs in your garden, I'm sure you have also seen ants in your garden. And a lot of people complain that, you know, I have ants, I have treated them with so many chemicals and nothing is happening. Interestingly, these ants and these millibugs have a very good relationship. It's like bhaichara. They have a mutualistic relationship. What happens? These aphids, they feed on the stem and leaves of the plant and get sugar substance, basically the plant food, out of the plant. So now these millibugs will offer this sugar food to the ants and the ants in return will give them protection. So they have this, you know, mutual understanding. As a result, it's very difficult to get rid of these millibugs because the ants will make sure that, you know, no other insect comes and feeds on them. And these millibugs will keep giving them food. So the solution that I use is very simple. You use shampoo. You would need to use about 3 ml of any shampoo and add this in 1 liter of water. For this, I would highly recommend that you use a spraying pump. Or if you don't have something like this, you could also use sprays that come for barber shops. You can attach them on a plastic bottle and they're good enough to use. The concentration of the shampoo in this water could also depend on how intense the problem of infection is. I use about 3-4 ml in 1 liter of water. We will just cover this up, shake it properly and pump in the air. Now you just spray this over your plant. Spray it nicely. Spray it under the leaves, on the leaves, on the stem. Within 2-3 hours, you would notice that these millibugs start dying and also the number of ants would reduce heavily. Now, a tip for using this solution is do this in the evening or at night. The reason is because most of the plant activity that is making its food or evaporation and everything is happening mostly in the daytime and the sun is also intense. So if you cover it with this, you know, shampoo solution all over, it will disturb the plant's daily activities and also might kill it. So don't do this in the morning, do it in the evening. And what you have to do the other day is, before the sun is up, like before 12 o'clock noon, use plain water to wash off all of the solution from your plant. So by the time the sun will be up, your plant will be healthy. And once you are done with thorough spraying, you can just check the leaves properly, both underneath and on the stem. You would see that the millibug have reduced a lot on the plant. Okay, even if this once treatment does not reduce the number of millibugs, you can do this again within a week of time. I know a lot of you might be wondering that, hey, you know, we were all in for organic farming and why are you using chemicals? To do everything completely organic, you can use an organic shampoo. There are edible shampoos, there are shampoos that do not have chemicals, any harsh chemicals. You can use the exact same method with those organic shampoos as well. For me, I think this shampoo is fine because I'm using it in a very less amount and I'm not really, you know, 
putting it as water to the plant it's just sprayed on the leaves and then washed away some of it while you wash it also goes into the soil but it's very small amount i don't think it will have a major impact on the plant but if you still want to be absolutely sure you can go ahead and use organic shampoos and and before you leave for today guys i would really really appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe to this channel go ahead and hit that red button to subscribe to the channel i'll see you soon thanks for watching